A week ago today, the death toll from the virus in our state was 52. That means the number of victims has doubled in the past seven days, and new data suggests the worst is still to come. ABC 15's Adam Waltz is live tonight outside the Department of Health Services. And Adam, are we even close to hitting the peak here in Arizona? Well, Faye, uh, the data is showing that we are right on the doorstep of the peak here for COVID-19 in Arizona. And as you said, just in the last week, Arizona's COVID death toll has doubled from the rest from earlier the rest of the year. And health experts say this is exactly what's expected. When you get sick from this, uh, you know, it, it is probably the worst crap you're ever going to go through your whole life. Emergency room physician Frank Lavecchio speaking about the effects of COVID while on shift treating patients with the virus. I talked to him about, you know, is it like the flu? Does it feel that bad? And they say the flu times 10. In the last week, Arizona's death count due to COVID-19 has more than doubled, including 11 deaths in the past 24 hours. Lavecchio says Arizona's death rate of about 3% may not be accurate based on limited testing. That has a lot to do with limiting the testing to those who are very, very sick. If we tested everyone, you know, our denominator would increase and it would cause the, the percent of people that died to go much lower. University of Washington modeling projects Arizona's peak deaths per day to hit on April 27th at 28 COVID deaths a day. The model also projecting a dramatic escalation in deaths per day beginning tomorrow. Arizona's peak in COVID cases is expected in the next two weeks. Lavecchio says even when we hit our peak, it's not over. Even though we're going to hit the peak doesn't mean we could let up because as you know, it's going to go up, hit the peak and then it's going to work its way down. And two weeks after we hit our peak, we'll be where we are today. He also added that flattening the curve is not just solely about reducing the number of cases. It's also about prolonging the amount of people who are coming into a hospital at once so that they can save some of their PPE. They can save ventilators and ICU beds um, to kind of keep those available for when people do eventually have to come into the hospital. Yeah, right? certainly not max out the health care system. Adam, are, are health officials still urging people to stay home? And is there a, a specific symptom maybe that health officials are saying monitor this if you think you may have COVID-19? Well, yes, every health official that I've spoken to has said remain home, keep your social distancing. But and we talk about the fever all the time. But just in the last week and talking talking with Lavecchio, the doctor at Valley Wise, who you just heard from, he said to really monitor your breathing. If you're having a really hard time breathing and just walking a short distance is causing you to, you know, start to wheeze, then you really need to start going in. Uh, you really need to get into the ER at that point. Yeah. All right. Some good advice there, Adam. Thank you.